What was it like out there uh, going up against the Rams today? Good opportunity for our team to get better. Uh, we'll go back today, watch the film, and make the corrections, come back right tomorrow. Did they show you something? Uh, I mean, obviously, they're a different team. What did you see that was different out there than last week's uh, joint practices? Uh, I think, you know, we go out there, we focus on us. Uh, no matter who we play, who it is, who the opponent is, we take care of our details, and we'll be good. It seems like Aiden O'Connell coming out the preseason game, uh, he played pretty well and kind of continued that today. What have you seen from him? Just kind of progression. He's a dog, smart kid, uh, real calm, cool, collected. You know, for being a rookie, uh, you guys saw that in the preseason game, and just the guys in the huddle said he took took command of it, and that's what you look for as a quarterback. Uh, I'm excited for that kid. What were you most pleasantly surprised with today from your team? Uh, we started off a little slow, but we kept fighting. Uh, came back, made some plays in the red zone period. Uh, we just kept fighting. Well. Doctor, for a lot of you guys, Friday was really the last work day, so um, it's Wednesday now. You said you started slow. That kind of, you know, felt like that. Was do you think the layoff sometimes has a little bit to do with it to get back into the rhythm of things? No, it's football. I mean, you got you got days off. You got to be able to come out anytime you step on the grass and put your best foot forward from the from the start um, and continue all the way through. That's on us. Thank you. Thank you. Give us your thoughts today on the performance of the team, would you please? Uh, we come out and we know we could do better. Uh, I wouldn't say today was our best, but we got some good work in. And it's all about getting in and watching the film and trying to improve and come out better the next day. Anything you could attribute the slow start to at all? Or? No, I wouldn't say anything in particular. We just got to come out and do a better job next time. Was it something that you guys were talking about, like, hey, we got to kind of bring it up a little bit here? No, I mean, as practice goes on, you know, everybody's watching the same thing that's going on on the field, so we can all feel it, and we, we know that it wasn't our best performance, and we know we could do better. It clearly did appear, though, that you guys did pick it up and, and play significantly better after those first one-on-ones. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, definitely in joint practice, how we how we structure them, I would say it's always like that. One on one is the first thing we do after stretching, and uh, you know, so it, it takes a while to kind of warm up, especially you know, being that we in an unfamiliar territory, new place to get ready for practice and stuff like that. So, I mean, after one on ones, it always pick up. It seemed like the defensive line had a good day, um, kind of during team drills. What'd you see from them? Same thing I always see from D line, relentless. They go hard. They make it easier for us on the back end with the pressure they get disrupting the quarterback. When you talk about you know just kind of having that slow start, but on the by the same token, it shows that you guys are kind of creating a standard for yourself. Like that wasn't what you're all about. Um, is that reflective of that? Like, hey, that's not what we need to be doing. Okay. Absolutely, we always talk about the standard and uh, playing up to it, no matter who we play against, where we playing at, and the circumstances. So we know as a team we could perform better, and we always expect to dominate no matter what. So if we don't do that, then after practice we know we got work to do. New faces on defense this year. Anybody uh, stand out, have an impact on and off the field as far as the new, new guys? Uh, I say all the new guys they brought in. Spillane, uh, Marcus Epps, uh, AB on the line, Big Jenkins. Everybody that they brought in has come in and, and done what I, what I figured they expect them to do, lead and help other people get better. How good was it to have the new rook? Tyree in there today, just working out a little bit at the beginning. Oh, no, nah, it was definitely exciting. Uh, before practice, I saw him getting ready. I didn't know he was going to be out there today, so it gave me a rush. It gave everybody a rush, and we excited to get him back and get him in the mix. All good? Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your thoughts on today's performance, please, for the team overall. Not yeah, I think uh, started a little slow. We responded well, just kind of how practices go sometimes and how football goes sometimes, but be a lot to learn from from the tape, and uh, that's kind of the point of this. It reminded me a lot of the first joint practice with San Francisco. A little bit of a slow start, but you guys came on as the practice went. Is that a fair assessment on my part, you think? It's just you're seeing a different front. You're seeing different personnel. Um, we're running different plays than we have against different teams. So it's just mm -hmm. kind of like this is what training camp is, and this is what joint practices are for. It's to get a different look and work on new techniques. Coach talked before practice about uh, the first road trip and being gone for so long as the off the field importance for this team. Do you is that something that's just kind of thrown out there, or is that really important the off field stuff? I think the off the field stuff is incredibly important. Like the camaraderie, uh, coming together as a position group, as a team, you know, an offense, a defense. So all the little things kind of matter in my experience. Um, you know. 
the smallest little things make the biggest difference in the long run. So uh, it's always good to get time together with the guys, especially for me. Like I got here a little bit later. I didn't have the benefit of OTAs to get to know a lot of these guys. So it's been a cool experience just to be out here. It's beautiful, you know, this part of the country. And, um, you know, just having a good time. What's that competition been like for you? Is it, uh, about, is it, has it changed at all since you, since you arrived as far as your, where you are in the competition? I mean, I, uh, I played a lot of football, I have a lot of experience, and I kind of know, you know, how it goes. So the more you can do, the more opportunity you're going to have. And I just try to make the most of, you know, the opportunities that I get when I'm in there. So who knows how it all shakes out, but I'm just trying to, you know, do my best when my best is needed. Your experience, what's the secret to having a long career in, in the NFL? Uh, it's just being consistent and working hard every day. It sounds simple, but it's a hard thing to do. Because um, once you're consistent, coaches will trust you and they'll give you more opportunity. And that's just kind of how it goes. So I've been lucky enough to um, play a lot and get exposed to a lot and be around a lot of good coaches and just help my career, you know, get to this point. This is a young football team. So are you noticing the young guys listening to you older veterans? Are they paying attention? Are they teachable? Oh, yeah, they're very teachable. We have, we have a really good group of guys, especially in the O-line room. Um, everybody wants to learn. Everybody's eager. Uh, this offense, it's an awesome system. It has an answer for everything. So it's just the more reps you get in it, the better you're going to be at it. So we just need those reps together. And uh, that's, like, again, you know, it sounds cliche, but that's the point of training camp is, like, to get reps together. A lot of guys, some guys I played with, some guys I played against. You know, there's familiar faces. Um, I played for this is my 12th year in professional football, so I've been around a little bit. Um, starting to know more of the coaches than the players, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's it's been a good deal. I've been happy. What's your first impression of Colton and some of the veteran guys on, on their line? I think Colton's probably one of the more underrated tackles in the league. Just getting to watch him every day how he moves or how big he is and how consistent he plays. Um, he definitely should get a lot more recognition, I think, nationally than he does. But uh, we definitely appreciate him in the room. And we're happy he's on our side. That's good. That's good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey, Max, I saw you uh, talking to Big Rob Havenstein over there, kind of underrated tackle in this league. But when you get a chance to work against other players like that and then be able to talk to them afterward, how uh, valuable is that? Um, I love it. You know, me and Rob, we went against each other in camp two years ago. We played against each other last year in the season. So, uh, yeah, you know, we're constantly just talking. And uh, he's asking me questions. I'm asking him questions. And, uh, you know, just about the little things, the little details. Um, he's asking me, you know, what is what am I seeing? How am I keying the ball? Am I keying his heel? Am I keying little things? And we just go back and forth. So anytime we could have those conversations, you know, like last week with Trent Williams, it's the same thing. You know, we're just trying to improve. And that's, that's what I try to do every day. You guys started a little bit slow. Your teammates talked about it, and then you got a little bit vocal about picking up the pace, and they oh, yeah. responded. Are you? No how happy were you to see the way they responded and the way this team finished? Yeah, you know, every single day, it's uh, you got an opportunity to get better. Um, there's no staying the same. So you get better, you get worse. So for me, you know, I try to bring that that juice. You know, I not try. I, I bring that juice every single day, um, and I want my teammates to feel that. Um, and it should. If I got to go out there and, you know. <laughs> take matters in my own hands. It's, you know, I, I could do it in a different way. So uh, that's what I try to do. You know, no matter what, um, I try to be the light. Try to be the example in every single way I can. A couple Talk times watched you grab the rook and talk to Tyria just a little bit. But I'm just curious: Are you finding him to be teachable? He sure seems to keep his eyes on you. No doubt, no doubt. You know, uh, this was his first day out there with us, so uh, he wasn't able to go in like team and things like that. But you see him uh, asking a ton of questions and getting better. So uh, it's awesome to see him out there with us. Imagine kind of wanting to pick up the energy a little bit more. Is that kind of I mean, kind of chasing after the ball a little bit when you got into it with Cam? Was that just kind of trying to get the energy up? No, oh, shit. I was just doing what I do, uh, and he didn't like that. So, you know, he got what he got. It is what it is. Max, uh, talking to some guys, they weren't happy with today's performance overall. Um, yeah. In the whole scheme of things, is that a good thing, positive view that they understood that the standard wasn't the standard today and that they needed to do better? Yeah, no question. The standard is you show up and get better. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. You know, for me, I'd. I, as a leader, you know, it's unacceptable. You see guys, you know, not being at their best, but there's an opportunity tomorrow to get better. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to everybody getting out there and getting better. I don't know if it's possible for you to get up more than you typically do in practice, but do you get up more for these joint practices like this? I try to be, I'm, you know, I, I'm the same guy every single day. Every time I come in here, I come to get better. So, uh, yeah, some days you're going to feel like shit. Some days you're going to feel great. 
Um, it is what it is. You got to get better and find ways to improve. You know, that's those are the days you get better when you don't feel like you want to go. When you don't feel, you know, when you're feeling bad for yourself, that's when you really got to, you know, go to that dark place. So, uh, for me, you know, I, no matter what it is, I'm, I'm trying to get to that place, no matter what, um, and just bring my teammates with me. At the end of the team sessions, there saw you and uh, you come out to the field and speak with uh, Josh McDaniels and can you yeah. share any of what he, what you and he talked about? No, we, we, you know, we talk about a lot of things, but uh, I love coach. You know, we, uh, we have a lot of great conversations. That's good. Well, Thank you, guys. Yes, sir.